To get this workbench started, there's gonna be a few tools that you're gonna to wanna to pick up. You're gonna to wanna to have some sort of a drill or even an impact. You're gonna to wanna to have some sort of a square or a straight edge of some sort. A pencil for marking. A whole bunch of screws can be anywhere from two and a half to three inches long. Tape measure. Some sort of a saw, a circular saw will be probably the best for this entire project, but you can also use a miter saw like I've got over there. Now those will be all the tools that you should need to get this project completely put together. You could use all kinds of different things from clamps to levels, but I think these will be the bare essentials to get you going. As far as materials, you'll need a four by eight sheet of plywood, preferably something with a nice top like a birch or an oak. However, in this project, I've got one piece of plywood that has a nice top on it. The other piece that's on the bottom is just a construction grade outdoor rated piece of plywood. And that's okay because it's on the bottom shelf, no big deal. The next thing that you're gonna to wanna to get are some casters. I bought these from Harbor Freight. They're just three inch casters that can hold about 120 pounds a piece. They have a lock on them and they fully swivel. So I'll be able to roll this around all throughout my garage and even outside into my driveway with no problem with these casters. And for the final material, you're just gonna need eight two by fours that are eight feet long. Okay, that's all the materials you need and all the tools that you need. Let's go ahead and let's get this build started. The first thing I wanna do is make all my cuts on my two by fours. I know that the table's gonna be 46 by 41 inches, so I need to make a few cuts. So the cuts that I'm gonna to need to make for this table are really simple. I'm just gonna to need to make four 31 inch cuts, eight 36 inch cuts, and four 44 inch cuts. The only other cuts that I'm gonna to need to do are to shape the top and the bottom piece of plywood according to the size of the table. The top's gonna to be 46 by 41. All right, great, we got all of our cuts made. Now we're ready to lay this out and start putting in some screws. A quick tip, make sure that you pre-drill your holes. That way you don't wind up splitting the wood whenever you're screwing in the wood screws. This particular table build is a great project for beginners. If you're brand new to woodworking or experienced, this build is gonna be easy either way. And it makes an extremely useful table in the end with all the storage on the bottom and a ton of workspace up top. One tool that I forgot to mention, but you don't have to have, are some clamps. These are super handy whenever building a project by yourself as they'll hold the wood into place while you put the screws in. All right, now that we got the frame done, let's go ahead and flip this over and put the wheels on. And then we'll be ready to put on the top and the bottom plywood. With a few quick cuts to the plywood, we'll be able to put it in place and install it and this workbench will be ready to use. One of the big benefits of this build are that the legs are on the outside, so when you cut your bottom plywood, you can just slide it right into place and pop some screws in. Just a few more wood screws to screw in the top and it'll be completely done. Hey 
And there you go. The rolling workbench is completed. This is gonna make projects really easy to work on. As most of the time, my other workbenches are full of tools. This one I can keep clean, hopefully, and use it to assemble things, use it to stain stuff. This is gonna be great for me and my daughter who owns a small business and is constantly building things, staining things, painting things. This table is gonna be great. This is just one project of many that I hope to accomplish this winter with mountain biking season going to be going a little bit slower being that winter's here and backyard trail building. Well, that's really not gonna happen much in the cold weather. So I'll be hanging out here in my garage. If you guys like this type of stuff, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video and you think this cart's pretty cool, hit the like button. Let me know if I should do anything different with this or do you like how simple this is by leaving a comment down below. But as always, get out there, run, bike, build, and just have fun. We'll see you in the next one. Ooh, look at this thing. So simple, but so right. <laughs>